RDO is the latest OpenStack, packaged up for easy installation on Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and their derivatives. It's a three-step process that, with a series of puppet modules, guide you through the installation and get you up and running as fast as possible. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through some of the steps and spinning up your first virtual machine. We're going to start by going through the three-step process. And the first step is to install the RDO repositories and Packstack itself. We're going to start by simply copying and pasting the instructions from the RDO website to install the RDO repositories. And that was step one. Simple enough. There we go. Next, we're going to install Packstack. Once again, we copy and paste the instructions. Next, we're going to run Packstack itself. This is what does the heavy lifting, installing all the dependencies and installing and configuring all the various parts of OpenStack, hooking them together. This can take a while, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the hardware that you're installing it on. So you're going to want to just let this run and uh, go get a cup of coffee. Once that is complete, you'll be able to log in to the OpenStack dashboard and get started. Your initial password is going to be in a Keystone RC file that's in your root home directory. The OpenStack dashboard gives you a view of all of the various components. And you can take a look at what's available on your installation and check up on the status of various things. Next, you'll want to add an image. Now, we have a resource on the RDO community website where we list various freely available images. I'm going to grab one of those and install that. So this is the Fedora 19 image. You install that from the command line or you can install it from the OpenStack dashboard itself. And then when you look at the images tab, you'll see that image loading up there. And you'll notice that I've also got another image that I've installed on this particular instance. In order to SSH into your virtual machines, you'll need to add an SSH key. The process here is pretty simple. You go to the Access and Security tab, open up the Key Pairs sub-tab, import a key pair. You're going to give it a name, and this is an arbitrary name of your choosing. Then in the public key field, you will paste the contents of your SSH public key, not the private one. And now we have an SSH key that will be associated with an image once we launch it. Next, I'm going to launch a virtual machine and 
This involves selecting an image, giving it a name, and starting it up. So we press the launch button. We choose to launch the Fedora 19 image. We give it a name. We're going to pick a size of the image, and there's a bunch of default sizes. I'm going to choose tiny for demo purposes. On the Access and Security tab, you'll notice the key pair selected and the default security groups, which allow firewall access to various ports. And then I start it up. Now that my image is running, I'm going to SSH into it using the SSH key that I imported a moment ago. The IP address has been assigned to this image, so I'm going to SSH into that address. And there we go. I'm SSH'd into my first virtual machine. Thanks so much, and if you go to openstack.redhat.com, you can learn more about RDO and join the RDO community. Thanks.